In the summertime, when the weather is high, you can reach right up and touch the sky. In the summertime, you got dropping, you got dropping on your mind. Let's go to Penzance. Yeah. Hi, this is uh, Nigel from Chapel Street Gallery. Just wanted to tell you about um, my daughter Eliza. Eliza Bell and her charity Let the Beat Drop. She had a heart transplant 18 months ago at Patworth um, and she's doing really, really well. And in that time, she's now doing um, a podcast, uh, talking to other transplant patients um, and also raising money for um, um, the way they transport the heart from the donor called a DCD box. Anyway, she's raised over £20,000 um, and I'm very proud of her. And uh, you need to go on to our podcast, um, Eliza Bell's Transplant Chats. And what are these bracelets again? These bracelets um, that my sister made are all going towards Eliza's charity. Yeah. I cycled from Penzance to uh, Royal Patworth last year uh, for her charity. And we've done numerous events, runs, and I've, I've played racquetball uh, events. So we're just um, chipping away. She's raised £20,000 and she's trying to raise £30,000, which is the cost of this new technology. We use a box yeah. where they transplant the organ donor and it's called a DCD box. And how do you uh, contact the charity? Um, it's on, it, you can see it's Eliza, it's Eliza Let the Beat Drop. Okay. Um, that's, uh, you can get, get that can online. Can you just hold uh, one of those up a minute, if that's all right? Yeah, of course I can. You keep your, not too close to the camera because you've got to focus on that. And, and, and so since she's been in lockdown to keep herself busy, Eliza then has started doing these podcasts and she spoke to transplant patients, whether it's lungs, pancreas, from America, uh, uh, young and old, talk talk about their stories yeah. so this is something totally different just making awareness about uh, transplantation and how's your daughter doing she's doing very very well and how long was she in hospital she was i was up she was up there for three months yeah so i stayed with her for three months while sarah's um, uh, doing a workshop working because you still got to earn and what were the signs that she needed a heart transplant uh she she started she started having a fast heartbeat yeah. Um, about five or six years ago. Yeah. Um, she actually picked up the flu six, five or six years ago right. and she arrested. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and then while she was in a coma, an induced coma, because she nearly lost her life, uh, with, yeah, they found a murmur. Yeah. Um, and then she had a pacemaker put in and a defibrillator and she yeah. was okay for three or four years. And right. then in the last two years, she started to fail. And that's so, why people need to be careful with this coronavirus. She. It's damaging the heart as well. She, she is just on. Uh, um, immunosuppressants yeah so um but she's very positive she gets it she puts the mask on and she goes and walks and she's uh, had a personal trainer today and she's starting to do some fitness so she's got a good outlook yeah. because a lot of people i think especially of our age are, are, are not saying we shouldn't be stressed out about it but yeah. it's actually taking over their lives complete completely yeah and they're very very stressed out about even going out from the front door at the end of so, the day you've got to live haven't you like, I, like you said earlier, you've got to take advantage of every day and live a life. Yeah, and she's been really good and quite positive, although very, you know, very aware of her situation. Yeah. And she's been working for the National Trust, local National Trust Gardens, uh, and she started just a week before lockdown, and they've been fantastic. They've kept her on, and they're hoping that she can go back. Yeah. Go back to work. So no, no, she's so she's doing really, really well. Yeah, nice one. Thank you. How are these? Just wading birds. Yeah. She's, just, she's done it with brown paper, wrapping paper. Yeah. And cut them out just with a sort of a, a, a ink drawing. She's really, she's really good. Yeah. And she's got her own style as well. Yeah. Should be very popular down in Penzance and in the southwest actually. I like the crab as well. There you go. That, the British birds. Nice one. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks very much for that anyway. Yeah, nice Jamie's uh, just done a great job of the video and he's just bought some Thank you. Some uh, some wristbands. Are you on Instagram? I'll go to Instagram, I've got a Join Facebook. Join me and get on my Peddling Pirate. Have you got a Facebook as well? Yeah, Chuck okay. Street Gallery. It's so a handmade okay. bracelet. And, let and the beat drop. Let the beat drop. Yeah. For any donations, can welcome. Can, can yeah, Chapel Street Gallery. And say you've been in, make sure, yeah, uh, that'd be fantastic. Um, and uh, my Instagram, we've got Instagram as well, Chapel Street Gallery. Thank you very much. A special thanks to Jamie and Nigel Bell at the Chapel Street Gallery, 61 Chapel Street, Penzance, TR18 for AE. You can contact Nigel at billingle58 at gmail.com. Also on HTML, chapelstreetgallery.co.uk.
Also telephone 0798 0538 That's 0798 0538 With great thanks from Jamie, this has been a Summertime TV International Production 2020. You can contact me at ccsphoto1 at gmail.com. Don't forget to share the video. It's a lifestyle thing.